What's up YouTube, Dan here, and welcome to my final FIFA 14 career mode series. Today we have my final career mode with Wolfsburg from the Bundesliga. You guys have asked this all year, and I'm finally doing not a 5 star team. So it's what you guys want to see, and if you do want to see more of this, can we smash over 1,000 likes this first episode? That would be incredible. That would just show support in the series and show me you do want to see more uh, before the end of FIFA 14. Because basically, the next time I start career mode, it will be on FIFA 15. I've got a huge announcement about my uh, career mode coming this week on FIFA 15. So I can't wait to do that. Uh, but yeah, here we go with my final career mode of FIFA 14. Today we have got some transfers, hopefully we can start some more players. We're actually going to start off with some sad news on basically about uh, transfer news. So we're going to go to players left club and Nicolas Benes left the club. So basically I started the 2013-14 season and basically sinned the whole way through. And at the end of the season he said I'm leaving. So I was like no, I've lost my best player. I can't believe it. Uh, but Ben has actually uh, actually gone uh, off the mains in another Bundesliga team. Uh, so good luck to him. But I'm going to miss him. I'm not going to win the league anymore because basically my my basically my uh, objective for this year is to win the league so it's gonna be tough uh, but I think we can do it because last year uh, we came third in the league and finally for our finances we have got 61 million and 300,000 pounds as our wage rate it's not it's a lot of money but I got a lot of players I want to buy I'm not gonna buy too many players I'm my players are linked with Wolfsburg and you're gonna see my short list uh, later on in today's video. So there's my budget and basically on screen you see at the moment there is a massive tip about trying to get more money uh, for your second season with a crew mode series. You can see it uh, on screen right now. It's basically uh, to adjust your wage budget uh, from 0 to 100 and basically you'll get a lot more money uh, for season number 2. But anyway, let's go and have a look at the team I've got without Ben, the, my key player I'm going to struggle this year. So we've got Bernaglio in goal, uh, solid goalkeeper as far as I know. Uh, we've got Trash at right back. Don't know if I'm saying that name right uh, but he's actually got a plus three so seems to be a decent player he's actually 26 years old and uh, can also play the CDM so kind of similar uh, to Philip Lahm so we've got Naldo as the first centre back I've got Nosh I think that's how you pronounce it uh, he's actually my second centre back and I'm, I'm actually thinking getting Dede as my kind of backup centre back that could work out uh, to finish our back four we've got Rodriguez uh, the guy's actually linked with Man United so this guy must be good uh, so definitely going to uh, try and use him as much as possible but now my favourite part of the team. We have got my two CDMs. Uh, first of all, Luis Gustavo. This guy is incredible. One of the most underrated players in the world. He should be Arsenal. He should be a big team like that. They need a player like this and this would be a perfect player. He's played for Brazil at the World Cup and he's still quite young. He's 26 years old. Uh, so I can see this guy against maybe 82, 83 uh, by the end of the season. So next of all, uh, my kind of young prospect, you could say, I've got Junior Melanda. He's missed against Bayern Munich though a few weeks ago in real life. What was he doing? How did he miss that? So he came off the post or the crossbar. He had a shot, he came off the crossbar and he missed from the rebound. I can't actually believe it. And that, that might actually uh, kill him for life. That actually could hurt his career uh, just because he missed that chance. It was actually ridiculous. So we have got Verahina as a right mid. As far as I know, again, he's a great player. Uh, got good pace. He's a non-real normal team. That's, a, that's where I've actually used him before. He was actually fantastic uh, when I last used him. Uh, we've got Perisic on the left-hand side. Again, a very average player. He's got really good stats all around as well. So good strength, good pace, uh, but nothing that stands out too much. So maybe uh, one midfielder, uh, one winger uh, could be sensible as well. So to finish the team, we've got De Bruyne, uh, the highest rate player in the team, I think. Yeah, he is. And again, his stats are just incredible. And it's so sad to see him not getting into the Chelsea team. Uh, I think at Wolfsburg, he is going to excel and become one of the best players at this team. So I'm looking forward to using him. And he is going to be incredible. So uh, to finish off the team, we've got Dost. I've got some replacements lined up because his pace is ridiculous. How am I supposed to win games with that 59 pace? He's quite tall, I think. Uh, let's have a look. So he's six foot four, so he's really tall. Uh, so he's kind of like Peter Crouch, that kind of player. Uh, good in the air, but he will be a good bench player. And here, guys, is my shortlist of the players I want to buy in this transfer window. So we've got Dede, uh, we've got Guarin as well. I think this guy could be fantastic as a backup CDM, maybe. And he can play as a cam as well. I need squad depth. And I know my subs bench is actually pretty decent, but my reserves, I really don't have any good reserves. So I think I need to sign some more players in this transfer window. So we've got Guaro in there. Uh, so now for the strikers, we've got Lasoga. Uh, I've heard good things about this guy. MJH used him during his Schalke Karimo series. Uh, so this guy, he does look decent, but I don't think I want to use him, to be honest. And I'm thinking rather to go for Morata or Destra. I've got one more guy in, uh, another player I might go for, and that's actually Meme Juve. Uh, it's up to you guys. Leave some comments down below. So 
I want to go for two strikers. That's basically uh, what I want to go for because I'm going to have to replace Bender. And that is, I need to go and sign two more strikers to replace the god that is Bender, Lord Bender himself. So uh, we're actually going to go for, first of all, Murata uh, because he's a player I've never used before. I know he's gone to Juventus, uh, but he was heavily linked with going uh, to Wolfsburg. So we'll go for what they offered or what they asked for. And that was about 10 million. So we'll actually go for probably about uh, seven and a half million. And hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, they accept the offer. And now for the second player I'm going to go for is going to be Destro. So another player I would love to use. I've never used him before. Uh, so again, we'll go for about the same kind of offer. So we'll go for 6 million for Destro. And this player, remember last year how good he was. His potential isn't as good as this year. Uh, but this guy, I just I want to use him. I need another striker. And Destro could be the perfect player uh, to fill the boots of Nicholas Bedner. Right, so this is another player I want to go for. It's actually going to be Meme Juice. So his stats are overpowered. This guy's a bit of an animal, isn't he? Look at those stats. He just looks incredible. So uh, here are his stats in more detail. He just looks ridiculous. Uh, so again, he's quite cheap as well. Never used him before. And he's been linked with going to Wolfsburg in the past as well. So again, it is realistic. So I was thinking of going for Churchy as well. But he's actually, I think he's moved to Atletico Madrid. I'm going to go and check that now. But, but, but Churchy would be a perfect player for this team. But anyway, uh, we're going to make an offer for Juve. He wants between 6.7 million and 8.2 million. So we'll go for around about 6 million. We'll start off with that. Uh, so there we go, 6.7 million. And hopefully Offenheim do actually accept the offer. Yes, there we go, guys. Accepted offer for Morata. So uh, they've actually offered, uh, obviously, they actually accepted the offer. And he will be a probably an important first team player. So four years, and he'll be on 60,000 a week. That is expensive. Uh, remember, I've got a lot of money, though, so it's all good. Right, so again, another accepted offer for uh, Meme Ju, obviously, from Hoffenheim. So they want 60,000 a week. I'll offer the full 60,000 a week. And also, he wants four years. Actually, does he? Yeah, three years. And he will be a crucial first team player because this guy will be our main striker. This guy is an animal. Why has he rejected the offer? So I reviewed your contract offer. Uh, we can't agree your conditions because does he want more money? I don't even know. Can you be more, more specific about what you want? So uh, we'll go for four years. He will be 60,000 a week. Actually, we'll bump it up to 70,000 a week. I've got the money to not even care. So there we go. And also he will be a crucial first team player. There we are. And hopefully, this is my last offer. I have a feeling uh, that Morata won't actually join the club because he's a massive club. But the thing is, he's not getting game time. So I don't actually know why he'd want to stay there. Right, so Juve's actually been a bit more easy. There we go. Accepted offer for Meme Juve. This guy will score, I guarantee you, 20 goals this year. This guy is incredible. So there we go. Our new number nine. He is going to be so fun to use as well. Meme Juve, he is overpowered on this game. So there we go. Uh, gonna take out Dost and actually to put him on the bench. Uh, but for now, there is our new number nine, Meme Juve. His stats are insane. Look at those. Look at those stats. Just have a moment to look at those stats. They're just incredible. So this guy is going to be insane. I can't wait to use him, especially De Bruyne just pinging those balls through and Juve just running onto them with the strength as well, finishing the chances. This guy is going to be incredible. So Felipe has actually finally left the team, that's good news, I don't really care about him because uh, he's probably my 4th or 5th choice uh, sense back but that basically means I definitely need to get a sense back next episode. So to final, uh, finalise today's episode we're going to go and sign Murata, another signing, we've still got 48 million to spend as well, it's all up to you guys, comments down below. Uh, but anyway there we go, another new signing, the question is do I go with Juve or do I go with Murata or do I sort the formation to maybe a 4 triple 2 it's going to be tough, but I'll leave it down to you guys again in the comment section down below. So we'll just swap those two around. And for the moment, Murata will be uh, my backup striker, but I can't use him. This guy is going to be incredible. So there we go, Murata. His stats just actually look ridiculous. So he can play left mid. He's 21 years old as well. He's got a great potential as well. But that's actually going, I'm actually going to leave today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash a like on the video down below. And can we get this episode to over maybe 750 likes? Maybe even 1,000 likes for another episode. And maybe two episodes tomorrow. That would be incredible. So thanks for watching. And also remember to go and check out fifuk.com. And I'm so hyped for this career mode now. Because next episode, uh, we'll have our first games of the new league season. So thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next episode.